creating a mesh for a relief. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the spline tool and we're going to make a little rectangle. Once we draw it out, we're going to convert it to an edible spline. Then we're going to select all of the verts and convert them to corners. Next thing we're going to do is turn on our snap and we're going to take this 12 by 8 that we have in the background and just snap all the vertices out to it and then center the pivot point like so. So now it's about ready for garment maker. We're going to convert this into what we call a Delaney mesh. So we're going to put a garment maker on top and it converts it out. Do not set the, de de do not set the density to 1. Uh, I'm going to set this to 0.75, maybe a, maybe a little higher just so I can get some good ge geometry in here. Yeah, point one's fine. Okay, so at this point I need to fix the corners, so now we're going to convert this to an edible poly. Turn off our snap, let's get our corners fixed. We're going to put a new UVW on this when we're done with this. All right, that's probably good enough. Let's put a new unwrap UVW on top. Make sure we planar project it. Now, if we open this up, we turn off ignore back facing. What we do want is when we select all our polygons for this, we do not want to, normally we turn off normalize map, but not this case. We want to make sure that it's fitting all the way to the edges. Now. Whoops. Here's why. We have this material. We haven't assigned it yet. Let's go ahead and assign it now. So this way I can actually pull it up. So this is this is my work, right? Uh, Joe Materia did the lines, as we know. I did the colors. Everybody else has their own colors, their own size. So you need to make sure that your geometry is the same size as your document. That's the key to making this work. So my geometry is 12 by 8 you, in, in, in correlation with the 1200 by 800 pixels that are here. So make sure that your geometry is correct. Now I can give you my geometry, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it will match, match your texture. Now here's the next part of this. Um, if I come over here to, uh, if I export this as is into ZBrush, What's going to happen is the moment that I start painting in the negative space around all of this stuff, it's going to start to tear the edges. So if I'm going to paint a relief, I need to make sure that my edges are untouched. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start extruding from the edges here. I'm going to extrude a couple times because I want to make sure that my edges of my, uh, of my sketch stay super, super clean. So I'm extruding, as you can see, I'm extruding a little bit back, and I'm extruding back like so. And it doesn't have to be super thick, okay? It doesn't have to be. So now if I mimic what's going on in ZBrush by adding a turbo smooth on top, you can see that my geometry on the inside is going to stay whole. Okay, so I'm just mimicking this, by the way. And this, for the most part, is what I need to actually send over to ZBrush. So file export selected. And let's make sure OBJ is turned on. And this is my Delaney, F, or my Delaney OBJ. In the next video, I will show you how to import it into ZBrush.